The stock market's been generous this year, but on today's show, we're going to tell you about one overlooked area of the market that gets little attention from Wall Street's analysts, plus updates on major investment themes and how to play them. Ed Egalinski, Managing Director, Head of Sales and Distribution at Direction, joins me. Stick around. Welcome to the program, everybody. I'm Rhonda Leggy with ETF Guide TV. Great to see you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel along with hitting the like button if you've been enjoying our content. Also, post your comments below. You know I love to interact with you guys and uh, hear your two cents. So today's special program guest is Ed Egalinski, Managing Director at Direction Investments. Ed, great to have you with us. Welcome to the show. Great to be back. Thanks, Ron. So let's start out by talking about uh, a recent addition to Direction's family. This is the Daily Global Clean Energy Bull 2X shares. as ticker symbol KLNE, or as I like to call it, clean. So what is the clean energy sector? How does it work? And why does KLNE offer a good way to participate in this trend towards environmentally conscious investing? Well, especially with what's going on now, Ron, uh, with the current administration uh, just recently uh, discussing uh, EV tax credits um, and also activists uh, and institutions now focusing more on ESG. And when you're talking about uh, clean energy, uh, that is the E in the ESG, and that encompasses areas like solar, wind, uh, other renewable energy sources such as hydrogen and our clean KLNE uh, ETF uh, is a 2x bull daily rebalance ETF. So based on all the headlines that are going on right now in the clean energy space, uh, here's a way to play it on the bullish side as a short term trade if you're interested. And this uh, ETF tracks the S&P Global Clean Energy Index, uh, and that consists of uh, some U.S. as well as international names that their major focus is the clean energy space. Now, another recent addition to your lineup has been the Direction Low Priced Stock ETF. That's ticker symbol LOPX. And I love the tagline of this particular ETF, Aim High, Buy Low. And we've seen low price stocks soar this year. This is especially true with low uh, price stocks that have reached meme status. So tell us a little bit more about LOPX. How does it find low price stocks with big potential? Well, as you said, Ron, here's a way now in an ETF through a broad, broad basket of stocks uh, to indirectly invest in those meme-like or Reddit type of names. And in this case, uh, we track an index that is that are looking for stocks that are priced in that two to five dollar range and we rank the top 50 stocks with the highest market cap weighting to represent the portfolio being equally weighted um, so this is a way to get uh, investments uh, in low priced type of stocks in a disciplined approach but not just taking uh, a single bet in a given stock uh, so you have 50 in the basket, equal weighted. Um, and in order to maintain or remain in the strategy, uh, once it's put in, uh, it has to stay within the price range of a buck 25 on the low side, 10 bucks on the high side. So uh, with all that's going on right now uh, with the meme craze, uh, here's a way to spread your bets out, so to speak, uh, with this ETF, which is L-O-P-X is the symbol name. Yeah, and that's also, too, these are the same types of companies that get little attention or coverage from Wall Street's analysts. Yes, th th that's correct. Uh, these are some of the micro, small, and mid-cap names in some cases uh, that are unloved maybe by Wall Street or are not covered enough. And for those clients that want to have a satellite exposure uh, within their equity allocation, this may be something high risk, high reward that could generate some potential additional alpha or another source of returns outside of those bigger names uh, that they're used to investing in. 
Well, as you know, Ed, there's so much innovation happening around us. There's cloud computing, smart grids, genetic engineering, wearables, AI. I mean, the list goes on and on, and it's constantly evolving, too. But if there's one ETF ticker symbol that captures these and other major trends or themes, I would say it'd be probably the direction Moonshot Innovators ETF, ticker symbol Moon, easy to remember. So tell us a little bit more about the fund. Yeah, to the moon, so to speak. And for those of you who remember the honeymooners, in any event, this is a unique way to get exposure to disruptive or innovative companies within different industries, which you just referenced some of those. And this is really a good complement to other innovative ETFs in the marketplace. We're focused more on early stage growth companies, meaning micro, small to mid cap versus maybe some others that are more large cap oriented. This is also a rules based discipline approach. Uh, some of the other innovative of ETFs that are popular out there are actively managed. This is also an equal weight approach, approach uh, whereas there are other innovative ETFs that might have concentration risk. So right now, uh, the strategy, which is a modified equal weight of 50 stocks, has uh, the largest sub-industry weightings to areas like genetic engineering, cybersecurity, electronic and autonomous vehicles, robotics. In fact, we just added some new uh, sub-industries to the portfolio during the most recent reconstitution, uh, such as nanotechnology, alternative finance, and future payments. One final thing, Ed, before you take off, you know, it's always good to plan for a rainy day when the sun is still shining. And there's been a lot of sunshine in the stock market, but that eventually will change. I mean, it has to change because markets move in cycles. But when it does change, the Direction Flight for Safety Strategy ETF, that's ticker symbol FLYT, could be a good way to plan ahead. How does the fund work? Yeah, as you said, valuations are stretched right now. I don't think anybody will argue that. When and if we'll need an umbrella, who knows? But regardless, as part of the portfolio, they should consider adding flight. And this is a multi-asset class uh, strategy that encompasses three buckets, utilities, gold, and long bonds. So this is a way to diversify a portfolio, to have something that doesn't correlate highly to stocks, and can mitigate the downside risk of an overall portfolio or smooth out the ride. And certainly in March of 2020, not that long ago, flight was flat for the month, whereas the S&P was down significantly. And if you look at the three asset classes that we have within flight, uh, especially the ones that are long bond and gold. Historically, they've actually been able to not just show relative returns, better relative returns during bear markets in equities, but have shown positive returns, most notably in the case of 2000 and 2002, as well as 2008. And even utilities, which were down in those periods, showed relative outperformance. Uh, so here's a way for uh, clients to invest where we do the heavy lifting with the three different buckets within one ETF, and we determine the weightings based on volatility levels. So something with a higher volatility level would receive a little bit of a lower weighting. Something with a lower volatility would receive a little higher weighting. So it is a diverse strategy. Uh, I would consider it an alternative uh, within the equity bucket uh, to diversify an overall portfolio. Well, those are some great ideas, and thank you so much, Ed, for dropping by and sharing your insights with us. Thanks for having me. You just heard from Ed Egelinski at Direction Investments. Be sure to check out more. Visit Direction.com. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Rhonda Leggy with ETF Guide TV. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't miss our other timely episodes like this one, along with First Look ETF and ETF Battles. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next time.